Earlier in life, I used to take risks almost all of the time. Now I only do it half the time. You have to try to prevent mistakes from happening. You've got to keep thinking about it. That's what drew me here. I told myself that this was the location where it would be possible for Mike. I wanted to make his dream come true, to be able to free ride in open space in beautiful mountains. Just a mistake, my own fault. I crashed a thousand times before. This time my body position was just off. <laughs> Actually, what's different is that Mike is in a wheelchair. Just the fact that these hills are not easily accessible, we have to do it by pushing or pulling him up the hill, as well as picking out trails for him. Now it's a matter of four wheels, and we have to pick and choose trails that he will be able to negotiate. Even though I know the risk involved, I'm really addicted and needed to live. The bike just tells you to get out, to get out there. It's so much more freedom than just being in a wheelchair. Well, in any case, it was stupid on my part. But even if I'd known beforehand, I'd still try it again. Something can always happen on a bike. It becomes a part of you. Is it worth it or not? Well, you shouldn't let the adrenaline get to your brain too much that it stops working properly. Hey, it's pretty dangerous. I wouldn't be able to ride this rig. I just couldn't do it. It's so much more free. The connection between the bike and nature is much more than just going up by chairlift. Now it's about enjoying it all. And it's all about the ride being cleaner and my head being clear. Everything turned out really great. My dream came true, and I'd really like to thank all of you, and mainly Gatsby, for bringing me here. Mike, of course, is the bigger hero, because he never gave up. Things went wrong for him once, but he just got right back on the bike. It's a different bike, but he's back on wheels again. working properly. Hey, it's pretty dangerous. I wouldn't be able to ride this rig. I just couldn't do it.